Now, a few years ago, Lucifer, aka the higher self, aka Yeshua, was like, you know, I was meditating and I was getting information as a lot of people get downloads. And I was being told, like, look at these people. They're worshiping Ashtar, the false light. And, and um, Ashtar had influence the bad Pleiadians, which they are bad ones, just like there are good reptilians. They influence the bad Pleiadians to guide, like, Himmler, his evil deeds, which, because of the things that Himmler and his scientists and his soldiers done, and his generals, the other generals, which actually gave the Fuhrer, like, you know, a lot of bad reputation. So, um, and then I have these, like, self-righteous, racist, New Agers, spiritualists, like on Facebook, Facebook groups, and whatnot, like worshiping Ashtar, the false light. And um, I noticed that in some groups, you know, when people do their thing where they upload their pictures and then they want a reading, like, oh, if you're drawn to me, you gotta like, um, read me and stuff like that. But then, like, that's cool. Everyone gets that. But when someone who's dark skinned and do it, I always had noticed they were ignored. Like at least 60%, 65% of the time they were ignored or skipped. They would eventually get their reading, but usually you see like everyone else's pictures blown up, but theirs is like, it's freaking like empty or a couple of answers here and there. Sometimes I would like, when I used to be in these groups, I would like, you know, start giving them their reading, their free reading on their, on their aura for them because I noticed that, that, that they're being ignored and it was like that with me as well when um I had the same thing, even like uploaded a post that's on the topic like everyone else. And like it's like you could sense I could sense in a, the astral um like what's going on. You can when you're sensing the energies, you can feel when someone's like doing an evil eye or speaking bad things about you. If you if you are like, really in tune like I am, you can like hear people's thoughts when you go into competitions on any post. It doesn't have to be in any of those particular anything. You can hear people's thoughts. Like I can't, I don't know, I'm not sure anyone else. I know people are like, are really in tune like that, but hear their thoughts and you know, hear the nasty things that they say about you and the feeling. And you can even feel their energy when someone's being fake nice because you can tell that, you know, they're trying to hide that they're prejudiced and, you know, they're discriminative. And then it's like Lucifer revealed so much to me. And when you're in that Luciferian frequency, you are embodying the title of a light barrier, Lucifer. That's what it means in Latin. And so when you are in high vibrations, the light, which, you know, the high vibration, light barrier, especially like when you have like an increase of phosphorus in your blood, you know, um, your aura is more noticeable, you know, so that's like another thing about being a light barrier and where phosphorus comes into that as well. Now, I usually don't like to say light worker, I usually say light barrier. And like when you are the light, not only good people will notice you, you're shining, you're bright, you know, people are drawn to you. You're like the sun card or the star, the star card, you know, but even the bad people sees you. So you're a target. That's why Luciferians are always getting so much shit and hate from New Agers because we embrace, we embody both light and dark as a balance. And when you dig into the darkness, you're transmuting the darkness, like, you know, the, your flaws and whatnot. You're learning to accept it. You learn so much knowledge that you start embodying the light. You go through those, those trials and tribulations and learn and evolve, you ascend. And so that's why Luciferians have been getting so much shitted on in new age groups. You always kind of wonder why are they so focused on shitting on Luciferians without actually understanding Luciferianism? Question that. This is why I had uploaded a video um, years ago about Luciferians explaining it because like, I want people to understand. So here I am again, like my third video on the topic of Luciferianism. Now, um, I consider myself as middle path um, because like, you know, that's just how I perceive myself, you know. That's just me, it's individualistic, and Luciferianism is an individualistic path. So now, <clears throat> so I can't really speak for a lot of Luciferians, but um, so many, there are obviously a lot of misconceptions and 
they obviously like really don't want people to like gain the knowledge that they have they want to keep people in that loop like we have to bring the heaven on earth but it's like you're keeping people from understanding that it's already here it's all about being on that frequency you're keeping people in that frequency of we have to do this we have to do that we have to it's not here so when they say we have to bring heaven on earth or it's, or it's coming you're keeping them in that cycle that it's not there you're not manifesting it you're just manifesting trying to bring it in the desire you're sticking into that cycle and they've been saying that for years for years they've been saying it's here for years they've been saying we need to bring it and then again it's here we need to bring it it's here we need to bring it back and forth on and on you have to notice you have to look at the patterns of these people you have to look at the patterns when they act like they're actually channeling and send the masters or archangels what they say greetings dear ones you know the, the same bullshit you know, so, and then, you know, they're afraid of, of light barriers because we actually tune in and see stuff. And I came across so many who, one little thing, like, say like a gothic type of art or like image or a model on my profile. Like, you know how people like to upload images and stuff like that. Someone start acting like, it's evil, it's satanic, and then they want to talk so much crap to me, so much for love and light. They will, they will block me or talk so much. I, I know I can feel what people are talking crap about me on their posts after they block me. And especially when it comes to my business, they, just, they start slandering. Or they make videos like, oh, so someone like, you know, charge with their spiritual work. Like, I'm not going to say any names, but I know that it was about me. And it's like, dude, like, I guess sense, like, you literally would invest in someone else's business. But, like, what it comes to mind is because I'm dark skin and you know that I'm, like, strongly in tune. I've been doing this for years. Then you want to, like, throw in bad energy. I can feel when people are trying to throw bad energy, but it's being thrown back at them. They have no idea what they're messing with. They have no idea what, what they're messing with with someone who's legit, what they're the real deal. And they're starting to learn that when you are the real deal, you're not all talk. And I came across so many people who try to school me on magic and manifesting and all this stuff when I already experienced shit since I was a kid. They always want to school you like you don't know shit. Like they want to make it seem like the successes and their abilities beyond than what they talk about are new when it's not. A lot of people are gifted and always been experiencing so many things for a very, very long time and our ancestors, for example. And things that they practice none of this is new that's why they call it new age because they want to make it seem like it's new but it's nothing new it's not you know so really think about that they think about look at the patterns of these people tap into their energy look at the shit they're doing are they really doing anything are they really actually doing what they said like if you spread what's going on in the world like years ago when i used to dive so much deep into politics they would be so mad at me for even spreading, you know, putting the spotlight on how corrupt the left was being and what's really going on with them. And exposing like, you know, politicians who are part of that, that trafficking and stuff like that. They would get so mad. Think about that. And you know, I'm pretty sure like 70% of these people have the Black Lives Matter signs in their front yard, but yet they're racist. <laughs> it's a perfect way to try to hide it, but they make it so obvious. So I could read energy, dude. I could see through you. You can't hide anything from someone who's legit, who's the real deal, but you're pretending and stuff because there's a trend to you, you know, and they try to shame people who like, who makes a lot of money or knows that money is not bad. Having a good relationship with money is good, but then here they are on their like Instagram, just like showing off their expensive, you know, vacation and spiritual trips and all that and just throwing it in people's face. You could feel it when they're actually just rubbing in people's faces. They're huge hypocrites. It's, it's like a scam, you know? So I've been in Zerbinus for the past eight years. I was kind of in denial for a while because I was like, maybe I was wrong, but I learned how to trust my intuition and now I'm seeing it more and Lucifer is proud of that and my ancestors and spirit guides, everything. And the fact that other people are also seeing the truth 
which I manifested that. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are seeing it and are calling out too. It's great. It's like now we're talking. This is the age of Aquarius. You're also being exposed as well. And people don't need to be in that cycle because every time I, I, I think about that, what they're saying, we need to bring heaven on earth. It's like I'm seeing people being pulled into like that whole theory about the moon is a, a machine that pulls people's souls in to recycle them, to make them reincarnate. It's like they're doing that, pulling people into that cycle to keep them from actually ascending. There, it's like a, another FBI, CIA scam. They want to keep people in that loop. You need to think for your fucking self. You need to be a light barrier. You need to see through these people and their BS and their Ashtar worship. But, um, yeah, I already could tell, like, even some people, um, I know some people were like, oh, hey, subscribe to my channel and whatnot. And they're, they're one of them. And then I get tell, and I try to be nice. I don't want to judge, but I was like, you know, I know I feel something weird. So, but they did not subscribe to my channel when I shared, um, you know, my uh, my link, even the link to my group at that at I um joined their group, what they shared to me, because you know it's like it's good karma, right? But yet they don't like join my group when I share it or subscribe back to my channel, and then you can sense it, and then it's like the same some of the same people who could be in your well, not my group, but it's like, you could see it. Just because this person is light-skinned, people start blowing their shit up. They start jumping on air. They start subscribing like crazy. They get, like, thousands of, like, well, in the group, like, in there, like, so quick within, like, days. But it's like, people are going to, like, not really, like, invest so much in you because you're not in their same skin tone. This is, like, real things. Like, I'm not trying to be in a bit of mindset. I'm just, like, shedding light. Like I said, I'm a fucking life barrier. We not only just spread knowledge, the good, the good knowledge, what as many would call the good word of God, but also the things that may not be comfortable, so you can actually see what's going on beyond the veil, and then you can also evolve from that. But they want to keep you from that. They want to say that the dark is bad. You know, they act like they learn all this knowledge and stuff. But yeah, when you talk about even deeper stuff like the esoteric and whatnot and occultism, then and they're like, huh, what is that? Or they shame you or be like, yo, bad, like you're a devil, you're going to hell, stuff like that. That's why I said in my, one of my previous videos from months ago, like New Age is a new form of Christianity because they act just like that. So this definitely needs to be shared. I don't care where you share it at. I know they're gonna talk so much crap. I don't care, like. Go ahead, try me. Because <laughs> you're going to see how legit I am. The real deal. Because uh, my spirits, don't, they don't fuck around. <laughs> Anyways, um, things are flourishing, though, for me. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. But, um, yeah, people just need to understand, you know. It's just, it's, I like, these same people definitely would try to shit on black businesses. You know, so... <clears throat> ah man <laughs> what else i swear it was something else i mean i guess i said everything i wanted to say but um i feel like people deserve to understand what's going on and you know they need to pay attention you know and so many just act like using tarot cards is the only way i channel i've been channeling without cards i started using tarot cards i like, literally two years ago and runes I've been channeling way before you know that. I could just like tune in, you know. <laughs> I don't need cards. I, I use tarot cards and runes for the hell of it. I enjoy them, but mainly I channel. I'm constantly getting downloads. Constantly getting downloads since I was a kid. So, like I said, these gifts, anything, superpowers, what do you want to call it, abilities, your X Men, <laughs> it's nothing new. Our ancestors already been doing this, and that, and that knowledge is in our DNA. And these people can't stop it. You know, affirm that you are in heaven on earth. Affirm that you are experiencing heaven on earth. Affirm that you are ascending. You have ascended. Keep affirming that. And then watch things change within yourself. Watch your vibrations change. Don't be in that, that cycle that these people are trying to pull you in. And they're bullcrap. You know, don't let some self-righteous new age bitch who fucking wealthy tell you that money is bad. That 
you should have a bad relationship with money and stuff and that it's Illuminati and some crap. Like some one person a few weeks ago, you tell she's rich and then she's telling me stuff like, oh, get out of the Illuminati and all this stuff, whatever. I didn't mean, I never talked to this person at all. I didn't say anything. This person just added me and then randomly messaged me out of the blue. And she has like mutual friends and it's like, but I didn't say anything. I just like deleted it and um, kicked it off my friend list and that's it. Then you had the blocker, that's it. So yeah, these people are just fucking brainwashed, you know? So, okay, well, enjoy your Saturn energy day and uh, peace, Lucifer.